It doesn't help that this is a veteran group and so many fifth and sixth year guys that are no, yeah, no, helps a lot. Business, no yeah. doubt. Like it definitely helps a lot with just with uh, this the experience to know that uh, I guess when you're younger, you kind of you have a lot of questions like, can you play at this level? Can you do this? Can you do that? Uh, when you have a veteran group, it's like, okay, like we've, we've put good tape out there before, you know what I mean? So it's one of those things where you have to get back to the fundamentals, get back to the basics and uh, just get back to just playing the, the way we want to play and put the tape out there that we want to put on. It's really easy, though, for people outside the building to go, oh, three losses, this, this, and this can't happen anymore, and the world spirals outside. What, what's the message to, to people who are like, oh, if they're four and three, what's the point? I mean, it's just one-week seasons at this point, you know what I mean? Uh, you can get caught on the big picture. Uh, I mean, whatever, however many wins we can get at this point. Uh, but you, at, the, at the end of the day, it's, it just comes to week by week, you know what I mean? So it's just like you can't get to six wins if we can't get to five this week, you know what I mean? So uh, that's what we're focused on this week is just pushing forward and, and uh, getting that fifth one this week. Nick, is evaluating <clears throat> tape, honestly, is it's kind of a weird question, but is that a skill to like learn how to be brutally honest when you when you watch the tape and to kind of evaluate yourself? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people, you can you can turn on the tape and you can be uh, you can be like easy on yourself, you know what I mean? You, you, you can, but the, the way you get better is if you're just brutally honest, you know what I mean? If you put yourself and you have extreme ownership over what your job, your responsibility is, and how you uh, processed whatever formation they got in and how you played, how you finished and everything like that. Uh, and I think that we have a bunch of guys that do that. You know what I mean? They put themselves in, in really hard spots when they're watching tape and it's hard, you know what I mean? So it's just one of those things where uh, you, you gotta process the tape and you gotta put yourself in it and take extreme ownership of how can I help this team get better and how can I help uh, the team on this play. When you're looking at that tape, uh, especially for this week, 19 missed tackles was, I believe, the stat that I saw, which is pretty unlike an Iowa defense. What contributes to a performance like that? I mean, hats off to Michigan State, man. They uh, they got some really good players, really good backs, really good quarterback, receivers, really talented. O-line, very physical. So, I mean, I'd mean, I, I I'd be remiss to say that I, I don't give a lot of credit to Michigan State. Uh, but it really just comes down to fundamentals, you know what I mean? Just getting your eyes up, getting your feet. Uh, bringing your feet, all that stuff, and just being in the right place. And then uh, just a lot of that just, you know, wasn't really there on, on Saturday. And we just stuff we have to clean up during the week and practice and uh, get more reps at and, and get back to the basics and the fundamentals. Was it effort? Was it just trying too hard, not trying hard enough? Or, or what was sort of a root cause, if you could think of one, if you saw one? I mean, I wouldn't say there's any specific root cause. I would say just at the end of the day, it just comes back to the fundamentals and then hats off to Michigan State. You've been, you've been one of the leaders on this team. Is it you and Jay kind of you know, put a foot in the ground now and say, hey, we can't let that happen again? I mean, that was something that can't happen from Iowa football. Yeah, I mean, I think we have a veteran outfit. I mean, I think that that's kind of a little self-explanatory right there for, for a bunch of the guys on the team. That's not really a, a performance that, that we want to mm -hmm. put out there. Um, it's It comes really down just to, like the fundamentals, really, and just a bunch of the guys just taking extreme ownership over over what happened on Saturday and, and just coming back and knowing that we have to bounce back. and. You know, it's one game, you know what I mean? I don't think it's indicative of, of the entire season, of the entire body of work that we put out there. But, uh, I mean, at that point, it's in our DNA, so we have to clean it up. We have to get back to the fundamentals, and we have to get back to the, to what we can do. What was your first practice like after that loss? Uh, it's one of those things where you flush it, you know what I mean? So you come in on Sunday, you watch the tape, and then on Monday, you're right back out there, and you're working on Northwestern. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we're focused on moving forward, really. And... Uh, you got to understand that, like that's what happened in the past, but you can't let that happen again in the future. Nick, you, you just, think you just uh, touched on the fundamentals a couple times, and Deontay also said the same thing. It came down to fundamentals. Has that been kind of the main message from the defensive side of the ball? Has that been your guys' main message was the fundamentals? It came, <clears throat> excuse me, came down to. Yeah, I mean, I think that, that's a lot of it. You know, what I mean, I mean, you can't play football without. I mean, Coach Ferentz alludes to it a lot. You can't play football without blocking and tackling. You know, what I mean, so. Uh, one of those things where you got to tackle, you got to get your face in there, you got to bring your feet, you got to bring in the right position, all that stuff. So, uh, and that's really just the fundamentals of it, you know what I mean? So, playing football and you got to tackle the ball carrier, you know what I mean? They hand the ball off, you got to tackle it. So, it comes down just to just those fundamentals and those basics right there and um, just cleaning up, you know, a lot of guys in the right spot, we just got to finish. Northwestern seems like a team that always tends to play Iowa pretty tough. Mm -hmm. um, what do you remember from them, and what do you what do you know from them this year? Yeah, I mean, I took a last second field goal to beat them last mm -hmm. year, so you know what I mean. So I mean, I think that uh, 
they're a heck of a football team. I mean, their quarterback, he's, he's a real, like, he gets that thing going, you know what I mean? So he can make plays on the legs. He can make plays in the run game. He can make plays in the pass game. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a ball player, you know what I mean? And running back's physical, all that stuff. So, uh, I mean, they present a lot of challenges, a lot really multiple in their formations. Um, and then they just run a lot. So just yeah. trying to get indicators on that has is, is, been really hard. So they, they hide a lot of good stuff. Um, so uh, we just know that there's a challenge. It's another Big Ten game. Um, we're back in Kinnick, but we know that we have a challenge up on us and we have to we have to bounce back. What are your memories from that goal line stand last year when all that turf kept coming up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably the most fun four plays of my life. You know what I mean? Probably the most fun four plays uh, of, of my life. You know, it's kind of just one yard playing football. Just going at it, you know what I mean. So, uh, I think that that that's, that's my memories from there, just being in Wrigley. That was that was a really cool experience. Does Brendan ever still say that they got in on that goal line stand? Uh, I tell him <laughs> I dragged him out every single time. No, there's no <laughs> shot, no shot. <laughs> what, was, uh, what was Phil's message to you guys on Sunday? What did you say? What Phil Parker's message to you on Sunday? Uh, we got to go back to the fundamentals. We got to go back to the basics. Um, a lot of stuff just, you know, we have to clean up, you know what I mean? There's just uh, a lot of things that, that we, we, we put on tape that wasn't indicative of, like, who we are, but we you know we have to flush it, and uh, we have to push forward. Thanks, sir. Thank you.